Hello everyone and welcome to the Rhino basic interface tutorial. I have Rhino open right now and you can see here on the left side is your basic tools and at the top here as well are the toolbar tabs. If you don't have these you can always use the command line located up here which you will always use to input commands to do, to do all sorts of operations within Rhino. For example right now if you don't have the tools that, I, that you can see on my screen you can just type in toolbar in the command line and click uh, hit space or enter to execute the command so I'll hit enter and it will bring up the toolbar toolbar options window so if you don't have the toolbars that uh, you can see on my screen you can always just go there and uh, click restore defaults and then make sure to click OK and then Rhino will ask you to restart Rhino after that you'll be able to see the same tools as I as I'm seeing for example, this is the polyline, but if you uh, left click and hold on it, it will actually bring up an additional uh, set of tools related to polyline um, creation, and you can use these. Also, at the top here, you can see additional tabs. When you browse the top tabs from standard to transform, this left toolbar will not change. But once you enter the domain of curve tools, surface tools, solid tools, all of these, you can see that the left tool tab changes as well because it's giving you additional options for these types of creations. I'm going to switch it back to standard and use that for now. These are the viewports that show that your model space. Uh, by default you have it set as perspective, top view, front view and right view which is a four viewport layout. If you left click inside any of these viewports the tab associated with them will light up to show you that that's the active viewport that you're working in. Uh, you can use the right click when you're in the perspective viewport to rotate the camera. However, when you're in a two-dimensional viewport like the right view or the front view and you use the right click, you'll see that it's going to start to pan. If you want to expand one of these viewports, all you have to do is double click on the tab associated with that viewport. For example, I want to expand the right one, so I'll double click on it. It expanded. And now I can use this viewport. You can use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out of your model space, or you can also hold your control button and right click and drag your mouse forwards and backwards to zoom in and out. You'll get used to these as you work more in Rhino. To exit out of a full screen, I double click on the right viewport again, and it will minimize the viewport window. You can also use the tabs here at the bottom of the screen to select the active viewports. And again, if you enter one of them as your active one and maximize it, you can use these tabs to switch between the viewports. And if I want to see all four again, I double click on it. If you start dragging viewports and rearranging the way you want to see them, it can help you sort of have better control of what model space you want to see while you're working in specific details. However, I prefer the default viewport with four views, so you can always right-click on the tab, go to Viewport Layout, and choose four viewports. This will go back to your default selection. I'll go into more detail about viewports in a separate tutorial. On the right side, you can see the Layers window, as well as the Properties and the Named View window. If you don't have one of these, you can always just type in Layer in the command bar and hit Enter and it's going to bring up this window. For example, if I have it closed, I'll just drag it to the side and close it, and I type in layer, it will bring it up. Now I can dock it back into this side of my screen. And obviously you can always drag these components and control the size of these windows in your workstation. If, for example, I uh, remove my properties and my named views and I close this series of windows I can just type in properties to bring it back and it just brings it back if however the named views is closed I can always just type in named view hit enter and it's gonna bring it and then I want to dock it with my property so I just click on this tab and drag it into the same window as my properties and then I can take this entire window and just dock it on my right side of the screen. And then I can expand it slightly so I can see more of it. 